A man and his dog, eh? Nothing like it, is there, boy, eh? It's like a shadow. You haven't got any friends, right? This is what to have. <laughs> Best mate ever, aren't you, Tread? Yes, you are. You're a good boy. Anyway, welcome back to Madworks Garage. Here we are again. Happy as can be after a few weeks of running around the country finding other vehicles and parts and stuff. It's Benny. Benny hasn't got his legs out today. Yeah, it's very cold. Yeah, so he's in normal work attire. And Utred wants to get up and say hello. Come on then. Uh, hello, Utred. He's a good boy, you are. Yes, you are. Very good. Right, down you get then. Okay, so today we're going to be mainly fixing on this again. Um, yes, all right. You, you have to calm down a minute. Um, fixing on this again, we're going to do finish off putting the new engine together, the other parts on it. Uh, also, we're going to do the gear linkages and uh, check the gearbox has all got all its gears and everything else. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing mainly. Benji's got some panels to make, so he's off in the back, so he'll be tapping away there nicely whilst I'm tinkering with this. So uh, without far, further ado, further ado, uh, further ado, uh, we, we need to get on and get this little van back uh, to its uh, rightful place and working again, which is... Uh, the whole idea. Yes, anyway, hope you're all well. Let's crack on. Okay, so we're in the gear linkages here. Now, I got a bit forward actually, um, than I should have done. But I don't know whether you can see this or not, but on this shaft here, you've got uh, quite a bit of wear. Can you see that? Yeah. I don't know whether you can see it. Anyway, so taking that one out um, and Fitted a new one, which hasn't, well, I say new, it's second hand, but it's a really good one. To save time, I've managed to find a good set of rods, uh, so we didn't have to actually repair them. Um, these are really, really good. Can you see the condition of those? Yeah. Right, so there's no wear at all on these. No wear. So I'm just going to replace them all. Um, and also the... The levers, there's a set of levers here. So that's a pair. You go like that, that's how they work. Again, no wear at all on these. So it might have been a new van they scrapped. Maybe it got written off very early in, the, in its life, who knows. But anyway, um, we're gonna replace it all with these, uh, all the way back to the gearbox. There's the long one there. Again, no wear on it at all. Incredible. So that's going to go, uh, that one goes right back to the gearbox there, onto the lever. Um, so we get all that done and then see if we got any play in it all. Obviously, it'll all have to be adjusted and set up, but you know, it, it, at least there won't be any play in it and we can actually get it right. Okay, 
So this, can you see this here? Or not? Can you bring it round? So this is the new one I've, I've slipped in here. Um, it's not fixed yet, but no wear on that. So that slides in there like so. And that little piece goes in inside there. So when you move your steering column up and down to change gear, your gear lever, sorry, up and down on the steering column, it moves that lever. So we get all this fixed into place. And don't forget guys, whenever you're doing anything that uses split pins to secure it, always put new split pins in. Don't use the second hand ones, okay? Because you can end up crying when they snap off and then you lose gears or whatever it may be, in this case gears, but. So a new one in every time and you won't go wrong. If I can get it in. It's wrong size, isn't it? Right, new one in every time, bend the tails round and you won't have no problems. Okay. Right, let's get on with it. Okay, so I've replaced all the gear linkages now. Um, all the way back, so we've got new, uh, new rods, uh, new linkages in there and out of there. Um, here's the old ones. So, um, right, starting from the top, we replaced that, which was all worn and knackered at both ends. Uh, we've replaced the inside lever, which is worn in, on the inside as well. Um, the holes aren't too bad, they're normally oval, but that one isn't too bad. Uh, this hole's also worn on the inside, got a slightly oval hole at the bottom there. The top one is still round. Anyway, replace those and replace the two rods, um, which weren't that bad, but bad enough for it to not select gears properly. So what I'll do now is go and work the lever so you can see it all working. Get round there. So what should be reverse, you see it moving up and down now. So what should be reverse is there. First, second, third, reverse. First, second, third. So we've got nice movement, nice and tight. There's no slap in it or slop or whatever you want to call it. It's not sloppy and it's all working. Jolly good. We can't set those up properly until the engine's running, obviously, because uh, we won't really know until then if the, all the gears are where they're supposed to be. But that's all we can do for now. So next we need to carry on with the engine, fit the clutch and uh, get it ready to slip back in. And hopefully by end of play tomorrow night, it should be in and running. Fingers crossed. Never say that really, should you? You shouldn't say that, should you? No. No, it'll probably never happen. You know, I think we'll say that. It, it's not going to happen. It probably won't happen. It, yeah, it's bound to be a complete disaster.
Okay, so it's time to fit the clutch. So we have said clutch plate and pressure plate here. Right, when one's fitting one's clutch, you must make sure that the protruding part of it is sticking out towards you. Because if you put it that way around, it's going to make a nasty mess of things because obviously it's grinding on the fiber bolts. So it has to go that way around, like that, okay? into there like that now there should be two pins there's one there as you can see and another one at the top i'm not talking to you i'm talking to them stop saying i'm learning as well okay you don't have to be like that just saying just saying so we have a pin here and a pin there so in here we've got two locating eyes where those pins go sometimes you may not have these which is going to make it a bit of a struggle for you anyway you have to come up with some solution for that. You could always weld it on. It'd be fun, wouldn't it? Um, the other tool, the only tool you really need for this, apart from spanners, is a uh, clutch alignment tool. This is a clutch alignment tool. Okay. So this goes into your uh, flywheel, and this goes into your clutch plate. Okay. And the idea is, once it's in there, like that. What are you laughing at? It's a teenage thing, isn't it? Well, I just wonder why you're laughing. I'm trying to look at the expression on your face. Anyway, right, so the idea is to get this and then put it... Hang on, where is it? Put it... Ah, and my phone's ringing. So the phone rang and now it's not ringing, so we can get back to it. Um, right, so we've got to locate this onto the... Ben just dying. Can you die quietly, please? Right, so we need to get that up in here, like like this. Don't do that, please. You're going to hinder me. Got to get that through the middle, and then you push it into the centre of the flywheel if you're lucky enough to find the bloomin' hole. It's in. Right, and then the the shaft is through there, and then you push the slider in to the centre of the clutch plate, something like that. It's all a bit of a struggle, to be honest, doing this, but... Uh, Especially considering our working height. All good fun. Where's the pin? Oh, wrong hole. Right, that's it. That goes in there. The top one, get off. The top one goes in there. Touch my hand. Right, so that's the in. It's all pushed into there. I'm just going to, oh, that, that went in rather nicely, to be fair, I have to say. Nothing ni nicer than when it goes in easy. Yeah, lovely. Is there? Well, 
Done what three times before? Hundreds of times before then. I'm going to say. Done more, more than three. Okay, can you get on the front and give it a little turn so we can get to the other bolts? Was it round? Yep, right. yeah. round you go. We're going to have rather a lot of compression because it's new. Right, I'm going to hold it there. Could have left the plugs out, but hey ho. I like to make you work. Right, that's four. Okay. Indeed. Cool, that one's a little bit on that. Tight side, right, go on in. Two more. Yes, you like admiring your work. What work's that? Round you go. Uh, down quite thin. Whoop. Oh yes, yes. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, it was a beautiful job, I have to say. Very, very clever indeed. Right, I think the torque setting for these bolts is FT. FT? Yeah. So 13 to 15 foot pounds of torque. Yeah. <laughs> well, FT is a technical term for very tight, but yeah, yeah flipping tight, but they're not flipping tight. They're not that tight at all, actually. Thirteen to fifteen foot pounds per bolt. Hang on, hang on. Let's just waz them up a little bit. Geographical geometric terms. Okay, let's waz them up then. Okay, round you go. Oh, my neck hurts. Isn't it lovely laying on the floor. Round you go, round you go, round you go. Do you know, if I was a millionaire, I wouldn't have to lay on the floor. Well, of course I would. Stop! Of course I would. For the love of them, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I'm probably going to have fish sticks. <laughs> Just for a, ch for a change. Oh, that's hard work being on a fish diet. Round you go then. That lovely bit of salmon last night. Yeah, seafood and eat it, yeah. <laughs> Round you go, keep going. That salmon was nice last night though. I bet you were jealous when you were tucking into your little pizza whoop. Yeah, well, I told you about getting home late, didn't I? <sighs> oh, right, that's it for a minute. Hang on, let me get my torque wrench. Where's my torque wrench? Oh. Oh, right. Don't be rude. I have a, my vintage torque wrench here. It's going to torque these up to 13 to 15 foot pounds of torque. 13 to 15 foot pounds of torque. Pardon? No, I said pardon because I burped. Well, it was very quiet. I don't think anyone heard. Well, then, in, in that case, I apologise for being such an animal. On oh, I'm doing the wrong way. I've got to go that way. Uh, that's 15. Stand by. Stand by, stand by. <laughs> 15, okay, round you go. Well, stop. Huh? Oh, it's prized. Oh, it's prized. It's prized. Oh, 
bend such a strong man behind the... Uh, oh my god. Yeah. I can't see. I've got to get my eyes sorted out. That's it. Right, just one sec, hang on. I'm going to pinch that one up because I think my wrench was slipping. <sighs> right, go on then, round you go. Yeah. Stop. Last two then. <sighs> if it, by the end of this video you think you haven't learnt anything, you'll probably be right. But don't worry about it. It's all good fun, isn't it? Right, there you are. That's that done. Happy days, as they say in the uh, in the outback. Do they say that in the outback? No. We found what? Oh yeah, yeah. Outback gold, right? So frost bearing in position, just sitting there. I'll show you that. Oh, hang on. I was showing you with the light, right? So it's all sitting there nicely. You see? Yep. Uh, no, you can see I'm, I'm right on target. Ben is having a lie down. He's tired. He's tired. Okay, let's have a little run through. I'm, I'm in charge of the camera. That's first. Right, let's have a little run through what we've been doing this morning. She's got a saw back. Okay, so we've got a uh, petrol pump on, coil in its original position on the engine. Uh, the old coil fell in half on my hands earlier on, so I had to get another one. Uh, so we have coil. No. Uh, we have coil. We have new spark plugs in there. And uh, the original leads, which are a little large for my liking, but save him some money by not replacing them. Cap, that's all done. I've put the petrol pipe into position, or all the way around, and bolted to the top of the thermostat housing, and then around to the carburetor. Uh, so that's all on. Uh, I've bolted all the um, alternator on, because it's converted to alternator. Um, but that's all that come off again for painting, because it looks really horrible. Testicles. You want to come around this side? You've done that side. <laughs> yes. So, all oh, night it's bolted on. It's all set up, so it all works. Yeah. But we've got to take this back off because this is mucky. Needs cleaning up and painting. Don't like it like that. Looks pup, right? Uh, and the oil filter has been changed and ready, a new one in there. Oh, that's just a little condominium I've put over the top of the carburetor to stop the poo going down there. If any poo was to go down there. This little um, carburetor condom stops it going down there. Yes? Yeah. Happy days. Okay, so pretty much it's end of play. We've got the clutch in, everything's ready to go. And... Uh, the only thing we've got to do is get the engine mounts on. Oh, thought of that, eh? The engine mounts. And um, then we can sleeve it in in the morning, start putting it in in the morning. And uh, by the end of play tomorrow night, hopefully, it should be running. Uh, let me get the light, actually. Uh, where's the light? Is the light. Is the light. You can see all the new gear linkages in there. Very bright light. Yeah, well. New gear linkages in there, and uh, all the gears seem to be there, so happy days. We'll know for sure when it's running. And uh, we'll make sure we don't put it into gear and run it through the back wall, which wouldn't be very good, would it, really? Yeah, that's standard until it goes on the gearbox shaft here. Okay, so there you are. So that's the end of episode three of the... Uh, transitional transition engine in and out e jobby you can't come round here Benj can you no? you can't come round here yeah, I can. yeah I'll get, oh, all right you can do it like that 
<laughs> oh, that must oh, really make feel seasick. That will. Oh, that's great. Look at that. You're in the foreground. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. I don't like it. Why don't you like it? It's fine. Anyway, that's it for episode three. Tune in next time for episode four when, hopefully, we'll have startup. If everything goes to plan and it all goes in right, yeah, I'm there. I can see myself. It's a bit weird, yeah. Good looking chap there. Isn't it, that van? Huh? I especially, I especially like the Cornet on the top there. It's very nice, isn't it, the Cornet? I might unbolt it and stick it on mine. I better not, Jazz will kill me. Anyway, there you go, that's it for now. We'll see you next time. Tally ho and chops away. Bye bye. I always walk out of shot. I don't know why I do that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hang, on. Hang on, where's my button? <laughs>